E-cigarettes are water vaporizing devices that are often used as a substitute for smoking tobacco. They do provide doses of nicotine, but the other chemicals in e-cigarettes are mostly unknown because of the lack of regulation. It's an unregulated product, product at this point in time, and we don't know what is in the juice. We don't, there's no product quality assurances as to the amount of nicotine or the amount of flavor or how the, the, the flavors are uh, combined and made up and preserved. E-cigs are new, sleek, and come in many flavors, which makes them very appealing to younger consumers. Jessica Lozier, whose 13-year-old brother got a hold of an e-cig, understands the main risks. I think that hookah sticks and e-cigarettes are more appealing to younger people because I think that they're doing it on purpose. Like I feel like they're targeting younger kids because there's really no need for something like that to look so appealing, taste so good. Like I think making it all different colors and with like the cool light up button, like that's kind of all things that kids would want. It is legal for kids under 18 to have an e-cigarette. They can also be purchased online and have contributed to a dramatic increase in the number of minors who smoke. A recent study by the CDC shows that the number of high school students who've tried e-cigarettes rose from 4.7% to 10% from 2011 to 2012. It also doubled for middle school students. And 76.3% of these kids both smoke electronic and conventional cigarettes. The director of the FDA Center for Tobacco Products agrees that these data show a dramatic rise in the usage of e-cigarettes in youth. And this is cause for great concern as we don't yet understand the long-term effects of tobacco products. Basically, it's buyer beware, and if one uh, uses the e-cigarette and, and becomes sick or, you know, has health, uh, has a negative health consequence as a result, then, then that's, that person's really out there on their own. There's really no regulatory oversight at this point in time. The government is working with the FDA and other tobacco inspection programs to figure out how to classify the product. Once the technicalities are understood, Regulations can be made, and the sale of e-cigarettes to minors can be prevented. Jessica Simpson, Q30 News.